Today we're going to have a closer look at the main components of a regular desktop hard drive. On the back we see here is the power connector for the power cable to the computer board. This is the data connected to the computer. Here we have an IDE drive. On the bottom we see the PCB, the printed board circuit that houses the various chips that run the drive, the motor and the arm movements. And when we open up the drive, this is what it looks like. We see the silver platters that take up the most space in the drive. We have two platters here. We have a top platter and a bottom platter. And the other major part of the drive is the head stack assembly, which is the whole thing here with a long arm that ends in the read right head right there, very small. We have these arms on the top and on the bottom of the platters, so this drive actually has four read and write heads. This is the clamp that holds the platters in place, and when we give power to the drive, we'll see that it starts spinning and that the read write heads will move out of its current park position into operational mode. And this is the typical click you hear at the beginning of a drive. If a drive continues to click several times, that means there's a serious problem with the head stack assembly because typically, like here, it should just be waiting for commands to operate on the drive. Since we don't have anything connected to this drive, it will just stay there until we pull the power, which I'm going to do right now. And the arm moves back into the park position, the drive stops spinning and is ready for next time.